Time Warner Audiobooks presents Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? by Philip K. Dick Read by Matthew Modine with Callista Flockhart A merry little surge of electricity piped by automatic alarm from the mood organ beside his bed awakened Rick Deckard. Surprised, it always surprised him to find himself awake without prior notice. He rose from the bed, stood up in his multicolored pajamas, and stretched. Now, in her bed, his wife Iran opened her gray, unmerry eyes, blinked, then groaned and shut her eyes again. You set your pen field too weak. I'll reset it and you'll be awake and... Keep your hands off my settings. I don't want to be awake. He seated himself beside her and bent over. If you set the surge up high enough, you'll be glad you're awake. That's the whole point. At setting C, it overcomes the threshold barring consciousness, as it does for me. He patted her bare, pale shoulder. Get your crude cop hands away. I'm not a cop. He felt irritable now, although he hadn't dialed for it. You're worse. You're a murderer hired by the cops. I've never killed a human being in my life. Just those poor Andes, Iran said. I notice you've never had any hesitation as to spending the bounty money I bring home on whatever momentarily attracts your attention. He rose, strode to the console of his mood organ. Instead of saving so we could buy a real sheep to replace that fake one upstairs, a mere electric animal, and me earning all that I've worked my way up to through the years. At his console, he hesitated between dialing for a thalmic suppressant, which would abolish his mood of rage, or a thalmic stimulant, which would make him irked enough to win the argument. If you dial for greater venom, then I'll dial the same. I'll dial the maximum, and you'll see a fight that makes every argument we've had up until now seem like nothing. Dial and see. Just try me. She rose swiftly, loped to the console of her own mood organ, stood glaring at him, waiting. He sighed, defeated by her threat. I'll dial what's on my schedule for today. Examining the schedule for January 3rd, 2021, he saw that a business-like professional attitude was called for. If I dial by schedule, he said, will you agree to also? He waited, canny enough not to commit himself until his wife had agreed to follow suit. My schedule for today lists a six-hour self-accusatory depression, Iran said. What? Why did you schedule that? I didn't even know you could set it for that. 